Looking for a NAS that balances performance, affordability, and ease of use? The Ugreen NAS SIG 4300 Plus might just be a sweet spot for home users and small offices, but is it really worth your money? Let's go ahead and find out. So welcome back everyone, Triple M here. Today's video, we're looking into Ugreen's latest four bay NAS, the NASSYNC DH4300 Plus. Now this compact device has been making ways as an affordable alternative to the pricier NAS systems like QNAP and Synology. Now in this video, we're gonna cover the unboxing, hardware setup, features, performance, real world use, and of course the pros and cons of this device. And also don't forget, check the link in the description to get 20% off if you're interested in picking one up. So by the end of this video, you'll know whether this NAS deserves a spot in your home office. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. Now I want to give a big shout out to you Green for sponsoring this video. Now, even though this is a sponsored review, all the thoughts and opinions are of my own. Let's start with the unboxing. Inside the box, you'll find, of course, the NASSYNC DH4300 Plus itself, and we'll cover that here in a little bit. We also have a power cable, 2.5 gigabit ethernet cable, drive mounting screws. So we have two different bags here, and they're gonna be different sizes as far as length, and a quick start guide to get you started. Now there's a QR code where you can scan to get the full manual. Now the NAS itself has a sleek, compact design with top loading NAS bays, which is a little different compared to the usual front loading designs. Now this makes drive swaps quicker and give the unit a cleaner look, at least in my opinion. Now in the front, you'll have the power button. You also have the LAN activity LED. You have hard drive indicators one through four, as well as a USB-C port. If you look up towards the top of the device, the middle top of the device, you'll see it does have the NFC logo. Now with this device, you can quickly scan with your phone, whether it's iOS or Android, the NFC tag, and you'll be able to quickly get into your application. Of course, we'll go over that here in a little bit. On the back of the device, you're gonna have 2.5 gigabit ethernet port, an HDMI output port, two USB a 3.2 ports as well as the power connector and a reset pin if you wanted to quickly reset your device. Now the fan on this device is positioned for quiet airflow and the whole unit feels sturdy with a minimal design that fits nicely in your home office or in your living room. And me personally, I can see this just sitting on top of my desk where it's easy to plug in a USB-C device or USB-A device and quickly have access through your NAS. So let's quickly talk about the hardware or what's actually under the hood. Now the DH4300 Plus runs the Rockchip RK3588C processor. Now the operating system lives on a dedicated 32 gig storage module so your storage bays are fully available for your data. It supports four SATA drives up to 30 terabytes each giving you a total maximum capacity of 120 terabytes. Connectivity is solid for the price point, 2.5 gigabit ethernet, which is a step up from the standard gigabit. You also have one USB-C if we talk about in the front and two USB-A 3.2 Gen 1 ports and it does have an HDMI port capable of 4K 60 frames per second output, which opens the door to direct media playback. Now the power consumption on this ranges from five watts idle to 35 watts under heavy load. So this is very energy efficient and runs fairly quietly. Now Ugreen did provide four four terabytes Iron Wolf drives for this NAS, so I definitely appreciate it. So let's go ahead and get it set up. Now the setup for this is pretty straightforward. All you need to do is push and pull the drive trace from the top loading bays, mount your hard drives, use the screws. Again, there are two different lengths. I elected to use longer ones, secure your hard drives into the trays and slide them back in. Now, once the drives are in, power on the NAS and for the setup, you have a couple options. So first you can use NFC to set this up. So if you have an iPhone or Android device, simply tap the front of the device and it will direct you to the application that you need to get this set up. Now, keep in mind that both your phone and the NAS will need to be on the same network. The other option, of course, you can use the web-based wizard. This is gonna essentially guide you through the setup as well. But I love the fact that you do have a couple options to get this set up and for me, the applications was really simple. During the setup, you will initialize the drives, choose your preferred rate setup, 
create your user account and secure everything with your two-factor authentication. Now the NAS runs Ugreen OS. For me, this is clean, modern, and easy to navigate, much like the Synology DSM user interface. Now some key features of this includes AI photo management. This is where it automatically sorts your photos by faces, scenarios, and location. It even removes duplicates and create albums like your baby growth timelines. It also has multimedia streaming, which allows you to stream music, photos, and videos directly to your smart TVs, your mobile devices, and through other DLNA devices. The cross-platform file sharing is also crucial. Now, this works seamlessly with Windows, your Mac OS, iOS, Android, web browser, and even your smart TVs. Now with Cloud Sync, you can back up or sync your Google Drive, your Microsoft OneDrive, and other cloud providers. It also have Docker support, which is great for lightweight apps or custom tools. And of course, backup scheduling, encryption, and firewall are built right in. Now overall, it offers solid feature set for the price, especially for people that want a mix of simplicity and useful tools. Now let's walk through a real use case. Now here I'm uploading the 4K file. This is a couple gigs directly to the NAS. Now you can see upload speed is really impressive. Now once it's uploaded, I can enter my theater to organize and view my files. So this can essentially be used as your media server if you choose to do so. Now let's play that video across some devices. First, let's start with the TV. So the TV is connected directly via HDMI. So this is one of the standout features in my opinion this allows direct video streaming again 4k up to 60 frames per second now all you need to do is go into the theater tap this icon you can stream via hdmi and you can see it pops right up on the tv and it looks really great over to the pc my preferred way of consuming media from the nas is through my web interface now easy to do this get into the nads find the video file double click the file and it will start playing in its full quality and of course we can't forget about the mobile application and the key feature about this which i like is that you can use this on the go so on the go you find the same video file click it now you're streaming your movies your tv shows your home videos while you're away from your household so again this can be your Plex alternative. This can be your Jellyfin alternative. And the most important thing is that this is completely free of charge. Now this just shows how versatile this NAS sync is when it comes to storing and streaming your media. The NAS also supports subtitle download per content. So as you can see in this scenario, I am playing a movie, no subtitles are available. However, if I click on the subtitle option, then I can go to search for the movie, find the movie within the listing, select which subtitle source I wanna download, download it and now you can see i have it enabled and i can turn it on and off so this is a great feature in my opinion for me i do use subtitles a lot so i definitely see where this can come in handy now let's talk about cost and efficiency now if you're storing terabytes of photos and videos using cloud services like icloud google drive onedrive is going to get expensive and it is going to cost you money for example two terabyte of icloud storage costs around ten dollars a month that's hundred and twenty dollars a year over five years you pretty much spent over six hundred dollars and you still don't own any hardware now with the ugreen nas you pay once for the hardware and you own your own storage outright so in the long run this is a much more cost efficient solution and it's worth the investment at least in my opinion so how does it perform in practice so for file storage and backups this is very impressive the 2.5 gigabit ethernet port delivers much faster speed compared to standard one gigabit network for multimedia streaming it handles direct play for most videos and thanks to the hdmi port you can connect it directly to your tv just note that without hardware transcoding 4k plex users may hit limits depending on file format now where it shines is photo organization and family use now the ai tools makes managing your photos just less painful and effortless it organizes everything match the faces timeline scenarios so it just makes it a lot easier and the fact that it create custom moments just just makes this something that you can look forward to having for a long time now in small office setups you can use this as a central storage hub with automated backups to the cloud 
share folders on Teams, and even lightweight Docker apps like project management tools. The strength of this, of course, is the multi-client access. Now with the multi-client access, you can reach your NAS virtually from anywhere at home on your desktop PC in your office, using a laptop for team file sharing, and even on the go using a mobile app over the internet. Now the flexibility is ideal, not just for individuals, but also families and small businesses that need access to different places. So let's go over the pros and cons. Pros on this one is definitely gonna outweigh the cons, but let's get them all out there. As far as the pros, easy to set up, beginner friendly operating system, good performance for storage, streaming, AI tasks, AI folder organization is unique and helpful, it's quiet, energy efficient, and it's also very competitively priced. As far as some of the cons, no NVMe cache support, so it does have the capable hardware, but it doesn't have the cache support. Now the ARM processor means that it does have limited virtualization and transcoding capabilities. The software is nice, it's easy to use, but it isn't as advanced or customizable as Synology or QNAP. So while this is gonna be great for your everyday home and office use, power users might feel a little bit constrained. The Ugreen NASSYNC DH4300 Plus launched at $430, but right now you can find it for about $365 directly from Ugreen. As a bonus, if you use the link in the description, as well as the coupon code, you can get another 20% off. Now at that price, this is one of the most compelling entry-level four bay NAS units that's currently available. So if you're looking for something that's easy to set up, solid everyday performance, strong photo management features, this is a fantastic option. But if you're chasing heavy plex transcoding, virtualization or advanced enterprise features, Ugreen does have another model, the DXP4800 Plus that supports this. But if not, you do have Synology and QNAP that you can go ahead and purchase to perform these tasks. But those will come in at a higher price. So what do you think? Is the Ugreen NASSYNC DH4300 plus the right mix of value performance for your setup or would you still lean towards a competitor? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check the link in the description for the 20% off your Ugreen NASSYNC DH4300 plus. And as always, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.